Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth campaign Let's Play scenario um, of Railroad Tycoon 3. It is uh, the Texas T scenario, so we've done uh, Go West where I managed to connect every city on the map. Uh, then we did Germantown, USA where I managed to connect every city on the map. Then I did Central Pacific where I didn't manage to connect all the cities on the map. Um, but I managed to get gold on all three of those. And yeah, so now we're on the Texas T, and I don't know if it's entirely possible to connect every city on the map, but I'm playing on uh, the hardest difficulty, and I'm going for gold, obviously. So, first things first, the campaign description scenario is, uh, It's big, it's dry, and it's yours. The vast lands of Texas are begging for an implementation of well-planned transit. Texas still has some resources that are newly discovered, and tapping the dark treasure of Texas will be your true key to success. You have 30 years to do the following. For bronze, have 15 million in company cash and haul 50 loads of oil. For silver, same as bronze, plus haul at least 30 loads of coffee from Mexico to the United States. For gold, same as silver, but also achieve 15 million in personal net worth. Right. I don't like personal net worth. But, um, right, so this is a bit of a weird one. There's no actual connection goals, but for gold, we need 15 million in company cash, which is quite unusual, because that means that basically at the end of the scenario, um, the scenario ends presumably January 1918, although sometimes this game's a bit weird and you actually have 31 years. So, it could be January 1918, it could be January 1919. Um, but yeah, basically, by the end of the scenario, we just need to sit back and wait for 15 million in company cash to come in. Um, and we also need 15 million in net worth, which means I actually have to pay dividends, I've got to buy stock back. I can't just issue stock when I want. That's really quite annoying. 15 million net worth is quite a lot. And we also need to haul 50 loads of oil. We can haul them anywhere, but we just need to haul 50 loads of oil. And we also need to haul 30 loads of coffee from Mexico to the US. Um, so basically we're going to be needing to build in Mexico and the United States. Fortunately, those are the only two territories on the entire map. And I'm guessing that we'll probably start with full access to the United States and not Mexico. Um, but if we look, we start with $100,000 in... Um, player cash, and obviously no stock. Let's create a company, and uh, this is the uh, Texas and Pacific Railroad, which we could go for, or we could go for the Union Pacific, um, because obviously both of these operate in Texas. I don't really have any sort of preference, but let's, let's go for the Texas and Pacific Railroad. I always like being a railroad that sounds like it could be a real railroad, rather than just being called, you know, um, like a sort of weird company name that's not in any way realistic. But anyway, we start with 1.1 million and uh, 100,000 in net worth. So obviously we can't buy any shares at the moment. Uh, we are going to need a, a bit of a dividend. Let's just set that as high as we can temporarily. Right, so, is there any oil on the map to start with? There's only four loads of oil and it's in Nacogdoches. And yeah, there's not really much. So I think our best bet is to basically start in a city and work on making profit and then hauling the oil later on. Um, I don't know if it is actually possible to connect every city on the map or not. Austin obviously has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, I'm going to hazard a guess that it's probably... Yeah, probably a fair amount of livestock. Yeah, there's two meat plants. So there's probably also quite a bit of meat lying around. Maybe some steel, coal, iron... Yeah, there's a bit of iron. Um, is there anything in San Antonio? Not really, although... There's that lumber mill. Which has a bit of logs and a bit of lumber. 
So we could do like Austin to San Antonio, which would probably be quite cheap-ish. Or we could even do like Houston to Beaumont or Beaumont and then work our way up to Nacogdoches that way. Or we do Dallas to Fort Worth, although they're very close together, so we're probably not going to make that much money hauling stuff. But there is a lot of stuff in Dallas anyway. I think maybe Austin to San Antonio could be worthwhile. Uh, or even something like Austin to San Angelo. Because there's quite a lot of um, logs in San Angelo. There's a bit of lumber maybe. Um, these are all promising starts. I think Austin to San Antonio might be the best start though. Uh, let's actually just save the game as Texas T LP hard. Right, let's do Austin to San Antonio. I think I can connect all of Austin up with a single station. We might need another station later on as the city grows. But with one large station that connects the whole city for now. And we can do another large station in San Antonio. Yeah, because a medium station isn't going to cut it, especially because the city is going to expand. How do I actually want to build this? Because I want to probably want to expand out this way. So maybe... Actually, that, let's just leave it vertical for now. And just do something like... Actually, hmm... Can I not build it horizontally? Just do something like this. Yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah, and then I can just build a track out both ends, and um, it's horizontal. Annoyingly, Austin is sort of built in a bit of a valley, which I think in real life this valley would be a river, but it's not been programmed as a river, so it's sort of just a bit of a weird valley, which does give a bit of a gradient, but it's nothing too severe. That goes by 1%, that goes... Let's, just, let's do that. Right, so, yeah, there's like bit of 3%, bit of 2%, but nothing major. Um, we don't really have enough money to actually connect anywhere else, unless I maybe have enough to connect to Wacko, but... Bearing in mind, we are going to need... These. Now, in terms of trains we can use... Uh, we have the Consolidation, which is very poor for passengers. It only gives 70% passenger revenue, so it has been nerfed from base game. Because I think base game has got a top speed of 60 miles an hour. It's now only got a top speed of 50. And um, instead of being acceptable, meaning it gives 100% passenger revenue, it's now very poor, so it only gives 70%. But it is still very good on hills and very powerful. Uh, we also have the Duke class, which is good for passengers, it gives 110% revenue, uh, 39 miles an hour on flat land, hauling a full load, and it's got average stats, and it's pretty cheap to buy and pretty cheap to maintain. We also have the Mogul, which is a fan, fan, um, fan locomotive, it's like a mod. Or it might have been added with the coast to coast, I don't know, but um, Cheap to buy, quite expensive to maintain by comparison. Uh, good on hills, good pulling power. Um, you only get 80% passenger revenue, which is better than the Consolidation 70. And then, of course, you got the Thatcher Perkins, which is what I used on Central Pacific, which has <laughs> poor fuel economy and um, below average acceleration, but above average reliability. The main advantage of this being that it's very fast, it's actually the fastest on flat, although it's only one mile an hour less than consolidation. Um, it is the same price to buy as a Duke class, um, but it is slightly faster. Do we actually have any express? No we don't, so there's not really much need for passenger, um, passenger appeal right now. Austin, basically there's loads of livestock, but 
the only thing we can really haul from Austin to San Antonio at the moment is this little bit of meat, which would make quite a lot of profit. Uh, and then San Antonio, we can haul lumber, coal. Yeah, there's not really much that we can haul, so uh, let's just get a little cheap train. I think maybe just go with a consolidation for now. Or a Thatcher Perkins. Um. Oh no, the consolidation has poor acceleration actually. There's also the Fairly, but obviously we don't need that. And for some reason we can still get the Dorchester. I don't know if that's like a bug or something, I don't know. Um, let's just go with the Thatcher Perkins. All the Duke class. I think the, Mo the Mogul isn't an option, really. The Mogul's just kind of outclassed in basically all areas. Because, yes, it's cheap to buy, but um, it's expensive to maintain, and it's slower in every way, basically, than the Thatcher Birkins. So, I'm just going to go with the Thatcher Birkins for now. If we do get any passengers, then obviously, you know, like later on, then... Uh, we can make money hauling those. Um, yeah, I really want to kind of issue stock, but I can't really because that would affect my net worth. I would have thought there'd be more cargo, to be honest. Can we build unconnected track? Yeah, we can build unconnected track, that's useful. I mean, I'm just wondering do I have enough money if I took out a bond to connect Houston with Beaumont? I probably do, but like, I'd probably have to go with really rubbish stations. Um, could still be worth doing though, to be honest. Hopefully I can upgrade these stations later on. So, if we just look, uh, Houston got a bit of grain that we can haul over to Beaumont, and uh, there are some passengers, but they want to go over to Austin and San Antonio, which is impossible, obviously, because they're not connected! Beaumont has basically nothing, although there are some passengers that want to go to Houston. There's also a tiny amount of oil that we can ship over to Houston. Um, in any case, let's just get a... Could even make this a Duke class, to be honest. Well, let's just go with Thatcher Perkins. Duke class might actually be better, I don't know. But... Yeah, it's not going to make much money, though, is it, really? This, These trains. I don't know, maybe we've been better off with just connecting, like, Dallas to Fort Worth or something. Because what even is that? That's... There's a munitions factory there. Yeah, textile mill. Lots of cotton and not many clothes, really. We do actually have two AI, so it'd be interesting to see what they do. I'm expecting one of them to probably do something like Dallas to Fort Worth, or maybe even... I don't know. Okay, this guy's gone San Angelo to Abilene. Which I suppose is fair. Um, because I did want, I did, I did think San Angelo could be reasonably profitable, and the other guy's done Dallas to Fort Worth as expected. Right. Construction completed on the new state capital located in Austin. Passengers flock to the city to celebrate. Right. Well, I mean that's good, kind of. Uh, but there aren't really any passengers at the moment, so. Hopefully they all just start appearing. Can't make the dividend anymore. Yeah, these trains aren't going to do very well, which is surprising when you consider that, like, Austin and San Antonio are quite big cities, as is Houston. Beaumont's obviously not very big, but... Yeah, on this one, I suppose. So yeah, it might be a bit of a slow start, this one, unfortunately. 
Massive demand for coffee and oil. And a bit of meat in uh, Houston. Might have to issue stock, I don't know. No. If I build a wooden bridge, I don't suppose I've got enough money to connect Houston to Austin, have I? Almost certainly not. No. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, I'd need like another. Well, I actually only need. If I issue stock, I think I can do it. I'll have to issue stock twice, but that's not a massive problem. It's not the most ideal track route in the world, but uh, I suppose it gets the job done. Right, so Houston, although unfortunately we now basically have like no money. Um, we make quite a bit of money going from Austin hauling meat and lumber um, not really anything else whereas Houston we could haul grain over Houston to Beaumont Tell you what, let's do Houston to Beaumont, then to Houston again, then to Austin. It's a bit of a sort of... Yeah, that's what I want. I basically just want the train going from Houston to Austin. And I want another train going from... Well, actually, I don't know. This will be okay for now, I reckon. Although we are massively struggling for money. I suppose one option would have been to just start with the industry, obviously. Okay, that's making a lot of money hauling a load of meat. So we've got a new locomotive available, the Pen CH3. Now, even though this is extremely poor for passengers, 60%, I think this is one of the coolest looking locomotives. Um, and also, it's um, it's fast, it's good on hills, and it's actually got good stats, if you ignore the fact it's terrible for passengers. The only problem is it's quite expensive to buy, but... Um, yeah, if you're not bothered about passengers, it's... Uh, I think this is one of the coolest looking locomotives. It is a fan-made locomotive, uh, you do have to download it. I'm going to need a water tower here. El Dorado has offered a $100,000 bonus for the first company to connect to it, which might end up being me, or although, I mean, there's literally nothing there. It might end up being the San Angelo Abilene Railroad. So hopefully now that we've connected Austin up with Houston, we'll start making a bit more money. Um, God, this train is taking ages. Wait, why is it going to Beaumont? Oh, I set the train up wrong. Yeah, this, this train should have gone. Um, right, well, I've got a bit of money now. I can reroute this train. So, this can just do Beaumont to Houston. And then we get another train. Going Austin to um, Houston. I could even do a train going from like Beaumont to... Austin, but I think that's probably unnecessary. And that can be a Thatcher Perkins as well, because we might actually get some passengers on this train as well. Yeah, some passengers. I'm also going to need a uh, service, not service, maintenance. Wait, where did I build that water tower? There it is. Right. So, hopefully. Things are looking up. So in terms of expansion, I think we probably want to expand out either north up towards Waco, north up towards Nacogdoches, or west over to San Angelo. And we're in growing prosperity, which is really nice. Can I take out one million in bonds? Yes, I can. I don't want to issue the stock. But I do want to set this dividend 
up as high as it would go. Fully expecting it to go lower. And let's actually just buy some shares on the margin. Because I'm expecting these will probably increase in share price. Uh, how much oil is there? There's now nine loads of oil. I think we hauled... No, we haven't, hauled any, we haven't actually hauled any oil yet. I think we hauled like maybe 0.3 of a load or something. So, there's not a great deal in Waco. We could even try and connect Na Dallas up with Nacogdoches via the AI station and track. That could be worthwhile. Or we just do Nacogdoches to Houston. I think let's just keep it simple and do that. Um, can I get away with a medium station or... No, let's build a large station, actually. Because there might be oil in like the surrounding area that we want to pick up as well. Yeah, 3.2 loads of oil, which we haul over to Houston, because obviously there's a big demand for oil in Houston. And I can't upgrade to a large station, that is very annoying. Uh, oh well. Might have to either build some extra track and build a large station there, or knock a couple of houses down or something. Whoa, what the... What the hell? In what universe do I want this track? I don't. <laughs> I mean, thank you, game, for offering me this ridiculous track, but, uh... That house is just kind of... Not getting in the way as such, but it's going to be very noisy there, right next to a railroad. Uh, Beaumont should probably be a large station, but um, I don't know, because it's like, Schoolhouse doesn't seem to do anything, it doesn't, like, I know it's just kind of there for a bit of a joke, but does it create or demand anything, or is it just there? There's a furniture factory here that would demand lumber where the lumber is being produced in San Antonio. So yeah, we couldn't even do like San Antonio to Houston. Well, there's not massive amount of stuff we could deliver besides the lumber. Um, right, Nacogdoches to Houston is quite a long way. One advantage of this map is that um, I'm noticing that quite a lot of the map, like uh, Germantown USA, quite a lot of the map is flat, uh, which is very useful indeed. But anyway, let's get a train set up going from um, Nacogdoches to Houston. I'm probably going to get a couple of passengers on this train. Yeah. And then also we're actually starting hauling oil. So we need to haul 50 loads of oil just for bronze. Um, I don't think that's going to be a big concern, because later on I think the amount of oil in this map is probably just going to explode. Um, and also it's only like, you know, less than two loads on average of oil per year that this scenario runs. I think once we get enough money, we can fall, or we can maybe connect up either to Waco or Nacogdoches to Dallas. Both of those would be very promising. So we are actually starting to get quite a lot of passengers, which is really good because Thatcher Perkins is great for passengers. So Abilene Southern, rather than connect up to El Dorado and take the hundred thousand, it's connected up to Odessa. Odessa is actually quite a decent city with a lot of wool. Uh, and a lot of clothing that would be profitable to ship over for them to Abilene or for me for like shipping it over to Austin but unfortunately to do that I'd obviously have to use their AI track. Uh, how much is it actually going to cost to connect Nacogdoches up to Dallas? I might just have enough money you know. Yeah I do. That's really nice. Alright, so... What's in Dallas we can ship over? Some clothes. Um, 
Nakatoos just has a tiny amount of grain we can ship over. Quite a lot of meat, yeah. Some passengers and stuff. Yeah, okay, let's get a, uh, another Thatcher Perkins going from Dallas to Nacogdoches. Wow, yeah. I mean, I could even have made that a pen CH3. Because there's no passengers. Right, um... Let's build water tower here, water tower here, and maintenance here. Is there anything in Tyler really worth... No, I mean, I could just build like a small station here. Check out another bond. Is it even worth building a small station here? Like, uh, if only I took out the bond earlier, I could have got it for slightly better. Yeah, my stock's gonna split, so uh, let's buy some more shares in the company and set up a dividend. Big dividend, sixteen dollars and sixty-five cents per share. Admittedly, that's only going to give me like, you know, sixty thousand dollars or something. But well, no, actually, more than that. Maybe like seventy thousand dollars. So it's not going to alleviate my negative cash issue. But anyway, yeah, the company is now doing very well after quite a slow start. I think the key is obviously to connect Austin with, with Houston, and also the extra passengers. But we're going to be getting a lot of passengers anyway, because it's in the 1890s. Right, do I have enough money to connect up to Waco? Or do I have enough money alternatively to connect San Angelo to Austin? Let's try and connect up to Waco, because that could be... Okay. And it's a bit annoying because it's on the river. So let's abandon that idea. Maybe try connect up to um, San Angelo, but I don't think we're going to have enough money. And also, I need to actually figure out how I want to connect up there and north. Let's try connecting from San Angelo. Probably avoiding this little bit of 3% gradient, but I don't really know why that's appearing. Saying that, the Thatcher Perkins obviously very good on hills. As the Pensy H3. In fact, basically every locomotive that we're going to use on this game, or this scenario, is uh, very good on hills. Right, I don't have enough money, and as a rough guide, I need about an extra 400,000, so... Yeah, another bond would do it. Or just an extra 400,000, naturally. Wow, I didn't expect that. Stock split four for one. That's insane. That's incredible. Okay, so my net worth... Um... Wow, okay. My net worth is... Um, 705,000. I'm saying it's 737,000. I don't really know what that's about. Apparently we've pulled three loads of oil. Um... I don't want to buy any more shares in the company. Uh, I don't want to issue stock either. So we can increase the dividend back up. Basically have the dividend as high as it will go, and then when it lowers, just... You know, just expect it to lower, but... As long as I just keep setting it back up. I can get 9% bonds, that's, that's actually pretty good. Right, um, I know probably actually have enough money to connect to Waco and San Angelo. Maybe. Let's save the game. Might need another bond. Yeah, let's put a dining car on that train. Is there any point having a train going from Dallas to Houston? I know that's a long, long way. Could be very profitable hauling this clothes. A couple of passengers, a bit of mail. Actually, speaking of everything, like passengers and mail and stuff, um, yeah, we probably want to build like hotels and post offices in these cities. Also, if possible, upgrade Houston up to a large station. Maybe just destroy this house. 
and there you go. Yeah, it's actually a bit of oil that we could ship over from Houston to San Antonio. A couple of passengers, some logs. Yeah, let's get a train going from Houston to San Antonio with a dining car. And it's just hauling logs, so it doesn't need a dining car. At least not from Houston. Um, yeah, let's see about connecting up Austin with San Angelo. Hopefully we've got enough money to do so. Do I go north, or do I go from San Antonio to San Angelo? That could be alright. Hmm. Is it worth connecting to El Dorado? There's not really anything there, but I would get 100,000 for doing so. But it would cost me more than 100,000 just to actually connect it, so... I don't think it's really worth doing. At the moment, anyway. I might do it later on. Okay, this is... a bit of a hill over here. Still, I think I can avoid most of the gradient, if I'm careful about this. Hmm. That's not ideal. The other alternative is I just go, like, over here. And then... That's about 3%. That might be okay. Is there no way to avoid the 3% at all? I mean, I'll take the 3% if I have to, but... I just want to... What the nicest gradient I can get. That's pretty stupid. No, I think I'll just I think I'll just take the three percent. Actually, that works. Yeah, that works. So, we've now got a route going from Austin, or San Antonio, up to San Angelo. Now, it's a very long way, obviously, but um, we can make good money shipping... Well, there's actually some passengers want to go to Austin from San Angelo. We could also ship some logs over from San Angelo to San Antonio. Um, not a great deal much else, to be honest. No, actually, San Angelo is a bit disappointing. I thought there might be more. Uh, but still, we could get a train going from... Uh, yeah, from San Angelo to San Antonio. But it won't make much money, but... Um, I'm annoyed that's basically spent all my money, because it kind of wants to connect up to Wacko as well. But, um, oh well. I can take out some bombs. And then... Oh, okay, they've connected up to Mineral Wells. So actually, I could connect Fort Worth with Mineral Wells. I'm kind of annoyed that they're doing so well, to be honest. I know, obviously, buying out the AI is not um, not a requirement in this scenario, but uh, it is annoying how well they're doing. To be fair, though, their profit isn't even that high. 
So I don't really know how they're doing this. The Dallas one's making a more consistent profit. Admittedly, it's a smaller profit, but... Um, yeah, also bearing in mind that at some point I'm going to need to connect up to Mexico, which currently costs one million to get into. Um, because I'm going to need coffee, and the coffee is in Monterey, and then we want to ship that over to the United States, probably like Corpus Christi or just Houston itself. But anyway, um, how much oil is there? There's still nine loads of oil. The only oil really is in Nacogdoches, so... Being able to build unconnected track is a massive help in this scenario. Because uh, it means that I can basically just exploit AI track. So, as far as next cities I want to connect to... I'm not really sure, to be honest. It's annoying that there's a load of cargo on these stations that are controlled by the AI. A lot of stuff over in Fort Smith. What even is that? Oh, it's lumber. Ah. Okay. And then, like, Fort Smith to Oklahoma City up here. Quite far away from my main network, though. That's the annoying part. There's also a lot of cities that are kind of pointless to connect to, like, um, Tyler. Shreveport does have demand for oil, so it could be maybe worthwhile connecting to Shreveport in the future. Not now, I don't think. Is it worth connecting to Waco? I don't know. Or maybe maybe just connect up south? Laredo, actually. Laredo has um, lots of iron. Annoyingly, we can't just simply get a tool and die to convert iron into goods anymore. That only works up to, I think, 1877. So we're quite a bit past that, unfortunately. Um, I don't know, we could even invest in industry, to be honest. Buy some cheap but profitable farms. or industries in general. Probably actually want to build, like I said, probably want to build um, like that a large station. Hotels and post offices and taverns and stuff. Let's just do hotels and post offices for now. So that's Houston, Beaumont, Nacogdoches, San Antonio and Austin. Right. So there's a lot of meat in Houston that we could actually ship over to, like, Victoria, for instance. I now basically have no money. because I've got enough money to connect to Victoria anyway. Oh, I do? Oh, that's brilliant, that's brilliant. Right. Yes. And there's actually a lot of passengers in Victoria that want to go over to Houston, which is really nice. It's also a bit of clothing that we can ship over. And a bit of oil. Some logs, quite a lot of meat. Right, yeah, okay, so let's get some um, Thatcher Perkins going from Victoria to Houston. I'm going to need maintenance and service on that. So let's build that over here. And then build the maintenance facility like that. And they suspended the dividend. Not bothered. Um, we hauled five loads of oil, apparently. Coffee farms appeared for the first time near San Miguel, which is right in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. Uh, 
Uh, that's a coffee farm. Whereas in Monterey, there's just a warehouse that supplies coffee naturally. That is actually making profit. Well, unfortunately, you can't buy warehouses in this game. Because I imagine that some of those would be very profitable indeed. Oil refineries appear for the first time near Houston. Right, well, that's good. That will obviously create extra demand for oil. Um, James Hogg elected. James Hogg takes office, vowing to help regulate businesses and railroads. Prices fall 15% across the board. Um, does that mean I make 15% more profit? In theory, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't get any cheaper trains. So, I don't really know what that means for me. But hopefully it just means I make more profit. I'm going to save the game. Let's connect up Corpus Christi, and then hopefully maybe also connect up with Laredo, but I don't think I've got enough money. Laredo, Laredo, I don't know how you pass it. I don't think I've got enough money to do everything, but you never know, maybe. Is that reasonably flat? Mm, yeah. That's better. Unfortunately, I now don't have any money. And Laredo doesn't support just a medium station. I need a large station. Um, well, let's connect to Corpus Christi up. There is something over there, which is it's just nine mine. But yeah, I kind of want a large station there. If I want to connect up with the whole city. Very nice. A uh, couple of passengers we can ship over to Houston. A bit of clothing we can ship over to Houston. But again, I need money. Okay. So, Corpus Christi to Houston. Probably want a dining car on this train. Yep. And then... Laredo, there's a hell of a lot of iron. Unfortunately, we can't really ship it anywhere, and also there's nowhere that we can ship it from anywhere to Laredo. Um couple of passengers we could ship over to either Victoria or Houston. A bit of livestock that actually wants to go to Austin. And also actually, the iron could be shipped for a small profit to Austin. So it's looking like we want to go Laredo to Austin, which unfortunately is a long, long way. Unless we somehow manage to connect Laredo up with San Antonio and go that way. But once again, I'm out of money. This train probably wants a dining car on it as well. I had enough money temporarily there and then it disappeared. So yeah, uh, Laredo to Austin is a long, long way. Which is sort of the only viable option for, um, for Austin. Right, we've got a train going from San Angelo to San Antonio that's just run out of money. Run out of money? Uh, run out of water. Just realised that I never actually built maintenance and service between these two. Although it's good to see that the AI are using my track. So I'm going to get money from that. Right, so my salary increases yet again. It's uh, 33,000. The economic boom is obviously helping me tremendously. Um, let's get a bit of a dividend going. Still don't want to issue stock, obviously. 
Right, we're now past one million personal net worth. Uh, I don't really want to... Well, maybe I could buy a thousand shares in my company. Let's save the game. I don't want to buy too many shares on margin in case the stock price falls and then I get margin call and... You know, big problems just end off. Like, big, big problems. Um, yeah, both of these are probably going to be too expensive to buy out. Unless the company, my company, starts doing ridiculously well. <laughs> but what I could do is connect up Mineral Wells with Fort Worth by taking out a bond. I'm just doing a simple wooden bridge. I might even be able to do a... Yeah, I could probably do a steel bridge, to be honest. There we go. And then... Get a very simple train going on my track, for the most part, from Fort Worth to Mineral Wells. It doesn't make much money, but, uh... Okay, it would really help if you built a large or medium station. I could just about actually do that, yeah. So let's get it going to my actual station. The Fort Worth station, on the other hand, is actually perfectly placed, although it could be doing... it would be a lot better if it were a large station. Let's put a dining car on this train. Somehow the dining car is... Wait, we're hauling the passengers but making no money, that's really quite weird. Oh well. So this Laredo to Austin train, yeah, it's run out of uh, water. Not surprised. Okay, that should be fine. So in terms of expansion, where do I want to go? I think maybe head up. Well, I mean we are going to want to go into Mexico eventually. Uh, there's quite a lot of, yeah, this is the problem, is that there's quite a lot of stuff in these cities, but they're all controlled by the AI. The other alternative is I head up north over to, like, Oklahoma City, Lawton, Fort Smith, from Dallas, and do something like Dallas to Wichita Falls. That could be worthwhile, maybe. What is this industry, anyway? Logging camps. Ah. There's no demand for pulp wood, but there is a big demand for logs in San Angelo and San Antonio, and also Lawton itself. Yeah. Well, I can't, yeah, I don't want to buy that anyway. I mean, I do, but I can't afford it, obviously. Right, let's let's go up north to Wichita Falls from Dallas. to use a slight amount of AI track, but it's, it's minimal, really. Uh, right, Wichita Falls is over here. Right. Okay, so Wichita Falls to Dallas. There's quite a lot of people want to go to Dallas. And there's also a bit of mail we can ship over. A bit of milk. Dallas, on the other hand, we can ship the meat and clothing and a bit of oil. Right, so let, yeah, let's do um Let's do that. Let's do Wichita Falls to Dallas with a dining car. We're gonna need a service tower and a maintenance facility when we get enough money. There you go. Now then, uh, what's in Amarillo? It's quite a long way away. 
I think work on connecting up with Lawton, Oklahoma City, and then go up north that way. The other alternative is that we just build south over to McAllen and then Matamoros, because even though Matamoros is in uh, Mexico, it's right on the border, and I reckon if I build a large station, could I maybe siphon off quite a bit of the cargo over the border? Something like that would be quite good, actually. I had it, and then it disappeared on me. Something like that. Because that actually connects like the entire city without needing access to Mexico. Okay, we've got the 10-wheeler, uh, which is hopeless on hills, but very fast on flat land. 55 miles an hour. Is that faster than... Yeah, that's faster than anything else I've got. But it is hopeless on hills. Um, it's acceptable for passengers. So it could be good for long stretches of flat land. Um, but it would have to be very flat. How much money am I making from, like, the AI using my track? 61,000 this year. And then nothing last year and the year before, so... Um, not much, but, you know, it helps a little bit. Might want to double up some track around Austin, because it's probably going to get quite congested. In fact... Oh! Hold up. Oh, that's interesting. The Dallas Fort Worth company is actually just connected up to Wacker. Right. Okay, so if I somehow manage to connect Wacker up with Austin, then that could be worthwhile. Right. So yeah, let's do that actually. Yeah, Austin's kind of looking a bit of a mess at the moment, because I've got so many track junctions coming out of it. Um, but yeah, let's do Austin to Waco. We can deliver a load of meat. Any passengers want to go to Austin? Yep. There's not really a whole lot in Waco besides some passengers. But we could build a um, hotel and post office at least. In fact, did I miss anywhere that needs a hotel and post office? Build one in Mineral Wells. Oh, we've got the uh, Dallas Rocket, which goes from Dallas, presumably, to Wichita Falls. Yes, Wichita Falls to Dallas with an average speed of 37 miles an hour. That's really quick. Uh, for 1892, at least. Yeah, Mineral Wells is going to want uh, to build it in such a way that we can still... I can't upgrade my own station. And obviously I can't upgrade the AR station because it's not my station. Duh. There's probably 17 loads of oil on the map. We've only actually hauled 8 loads of oil. Where does this oil want to go? Do Nacogdoches to Victoria. Deliver some oil. I don't think we really have to worry about hauling 50 loads of oil because as the company expands and there's going to be so much oil late game. Um, did I? No, I didn't do a train from Waco to uh, Austin. I do want to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we really have to worry about 50 loads of oil. There's going to be so much oil late game anyway. And if needs be, then I can always just get some extra trains delivering only oil.
Um, Macadocious to Wacko would be good for hauling oil, but not really a great deal much else. Let's, let's head on south over towards Mexico, because we are going to need to do that. Callan. It's not a great deal. Well, actually, I say that. Also, actually, I can connect San Antonio up with these cities. Do something like this. There we go. So yeah, we could do McAllen to San Antonio with a Thatcher Perkins. I think basically 99% of my locomotives in this game are just going to be Thatcher Perkins. I do love the little thing, but at the same time it's a bit overpowered. <laughs> I will admit, it's uh, very overpowered. I am going to buy out another 1,000 shares in my own company though, and I just realised the dividend is zero. Because the socks going to split this year. Making enormous profit now. Yeah, stock split two for one. I still don't understand how I managed to split four for one earlier. Um, the stock price must have been over two hundred dollars for some reason. But I don't really know how. Right, so currently on almost 2.4 million in net worth. We've hauled 11 loads of oil. So this is going very well, let's save the game. Right, um... Let's carry on heading over up to Oklahoma City, me thinks. Take out just one bond for now, I probably don't need that many. Um, how do I want to do this? Because obviously I've got to cross the river. Well, that's, a, that's a very nasty gradient. So can I get away with a nicer gradient? In fact, it might be worthwhile build up north from Wichita Falls and do something like this. Still got a bit of a nasty gradient. Well, not if I do that. that. That's actually fine. That looks like it shouldn't work, but it does, somehow. So then we can get up to Lawton, like that, and then Oklahoma City up here. Oklahoma City is perfectly served by one large station, as is Lawton minus that bit of dairy farm. Yeah, I have to build something like that. But that's okay. Right, so we could do Oklahoma City to Dallas, that's a long, long way. And then obviously we could also actually do Oklahoma City to Laws and Oklahoma City to Wichita Falls, but let's just do Oklahoma City to Dallas for now. Wow, that's a big load of money. Hauling milk and a couple of passengers. Um,
Let's do Lawton to Dallas. With a dining car. And then Wichita Falls, we've already got trains going to and from or Wichita Falls to Dallas. Or to Dallas. So let's do Wichita Falls to um to Lawton, I suppose. Wichita Falls to Lawton. Just get a very simple short range train. Which should still make decent money. Yeah, lots of clothing to haul for decent profits. And they suspended the dividend. I'm not too surprised, but also not too bothered. Save the game. There aren't actually loads of cities on the map, although there's quite a lot of cities that are very small and very hard to access, and there's also a lot of cities in Mexico. Um, right, we've got the 8-wheeler, which is... how does that compare with the 10-wheeler, then? 8-wheeler is faster, it's more expensive to buy, cheaper to maintain. It's got better fuel economy and better acceleration, and better reliability. And the same passenger appeal, so... But it's actually, amazingly, even worse on hills. Um, so the eight-wheeler is basically very good for long stretches of very flat land. Uh, the ten-wheeler is kind of kind of pointless then. Um, I don't really see the point in the ten-wheeler then. Anyway, wow, that's so many, that's loads of passengers in Houston. Yeah, I think basically now we can start building restaurants and taverns. I don't know, like, if they're going to make much money, but they might make um, more express appear. So much meat in Oklahoma City. Unfortunately, it's only really profitable to haul to cities that I either haven't connected to or cities that are miles away. But it could be worthwhile connecting to McAllister and Fort Smith because this lumber would be profitable to haul over to Oklahoma City. So let's take out some bonds and let's connect Oklahoma City up with um, Fort Smith. I don't want to. Yeah south along the river and then we can avoid having to build a bridge. Let's build the station actually, just prematurely. Brilliant. And is it worth connecting up with McAllister? There's not a whole lot there. There's a hell of a lot of stuff in Fort Smith. So many logs that we can ship over to Lawton for a profit, or we could ship lumber over to Lawton and um, Oklahoma City. Passengers want to go to Lawton, so I think actually, although there's a lot of livestock that wants to go over to Oklahoma City, let's do both. Because there's not. Well, are there passengers? Yeah, there's a couple of passengers. Let's just do both. So let's do Fort Smith to Lawton. And then do Fort Smith to Oklahoma City. And both of those are making good money. Could even connect up to Tulsa at some point, although it's not really there's not actually that much there. Amarillo, though, I do want to connect to. Um, 
quite a long way away, but there seems to be a lot of cargo in the form of, yeah, livestock, meat, yeah, stuff like that. So let's, let's do all this. Well, let's do all that. Next to Amarillo. So, this is the way to Amarillo. Is this the way to Amarillo? Yes, it is. Amarillo is now connected up. Economic boom fading, but that economic boom has lasted... Actually, I've only been playing like five or six years, it feels longer. Um, and yeah, as expected, Amarillo is obviously hugely profitable. So, Amarillo to... That was... Morton, I suppose. Wow. Loads of passengers. Is it worth doing Amarillo to... Um... Yeah, Amarillo to Oklahoma City with a few passengers and lots of meat. And livestock, actually. So let's do that. Amarillo to Oklahoma City. Possibly some passengers. Yeah, let's do passengers as well with a dining car. Dividend is currently going to need to be reset back up. Right, yeah, this company is uh, obviously very good. So we've hauled 15 loads of oil. We've got 2.8 million in net worth. Um, let's buy another thousand shares. I don't suppose I can tempt it to split. Maybe if I buy back some stock. Yeah, they produce the dividend. Well, I'll just bring it back up. You lower it, I bring it back up. Paper mills made for the first time near San Angelo. That's interesting. And the stock did split two for one. Brilliant. Uh, so now my net worth is 3.6 million. Excellent. Right, let's save the game. Texas T. Yada yada. Right, yeah, so... Annoyingly, this station is the worst built station... ...imaginable, but it does actually just about cover the paper mill. If we look, there's, a, there's actually a lot of uh, pulp wood around El Dorado. And uh, Houston. Although it's sort of quite isolated. Um, in terms of shipping oil, there's actually 28 loads of oil on the map. It's probably worth buying some of these oil wells, actually. Yeah, let's buy this oil well. And then... Oil can go over to Wichita Falls from Nacogdoches. I know that's quite a long way, but... Uh... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Electric plants bid for the first time near Dallas, so obviously that's going to drive demand up for oil and coal. And they suspended the dividend, can't say I'm surprised. Economy slowing to normal economic growth from prosperity, that's not too big a concern. Right, I'm really to Lawson, I never built maintenance of service like a plonker! I need my dividend back up. So, are these companies actually possible to buy out? Maybe, if I bought enough shares in their company. I'd also have to do a bit of issuing of stock. I don't know, I, I kind of want to buy the... Um... Actually, which one is more... Yeah, the Abilene one is more expensive, that's to be expected. 
Although buying the Dallas one could be quite worthwhile because then I could do like Dallas to Austin trains. Hmm. I'll have to spend quite a lot of money doing that. Right, any more cities that I really want to connect to? I could even do like Dallas up with Fort Smith and connect them that way. And do a sort of direct line via Texarkana. Oh, Shreveport! Yes, I was going to connect up with Shreveport, wasn't I? Because that demands oil via its. Um, the warehouse is there. Ooh, that's nasty. That's not. That's nice. That's not what I want. Can I not do something like this without having to build a bridge? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, that's not good. Really? Should have built the station first, shouldn't I? Hmm. Oh well. Let's destroy this track then. I've basically just wasted quite a bit of money. Okay. Yeah, I should have done something like this. Well, that's annoying. Uh, that's cost me a lot more than I was expecting. Um, but anyway, let's do Nepodocious to Shreveport. It's actually not pulling any oil. Now it is. Pulling quite a bit of oil. So I don't think we're going to have any problem with the uh, 50 loads of oil. Um, because we're basically half the way there anyway, and we've only actually been playing for like 6 of the 30 years. Um, personal net worth, that could go either way. Company cash shouldn't be an issue either. I can basically just stop doing things late game and just save up 15 million in company cash. 30 loads of coffee could be an issue. I mean. I am going to need to buy into Mexico at some point. If memory serves, there's some kind of deal that means that you get free access to Mexico if you do something, but yeah, it's it's, it's here right now. <laughs> Good timing. Uh, Mexico has expressed an interest in having you expand your rail system into their country. If you agree to do so, they will reduce their access cost to 95%, to a token $50,000. But if you do not connect the US to Monterey in five years, then you must pay a two and a half million dollar penalty. What do you say? Well, this is a no-brainer. You know, I've probably got enough money to connect to Monterey as it is anyway. Might have to issue some stock, but uh, yeah, so basically I get access to Mexico for $50,000 instead of, um, you know, one million. Unfortunately, Monterey is on a bit of a sort of slope, but, you know, I can basically just do it with like 2% gradient. Right, and then we are going to want a large station. Unfortunately, hmm, there's no really good station placement, to be honest. Once again, I should have built the station first and track later. So yeah, I'm going to want something like this.
Yay, there we go. Right. So, now we can start hauling coffee to Corpus Christi. Or actually, we could... No, we want to ship it over to Victoria. Uh, and there's quite a lot of passengers in Monterey, actually, as well. So, Monterey to Victoria. Making big money hauling clothing, which is not what I wanted. Okay, that's hauling passengers, clothing, and a bit of coffee. Mexican government thanks you for fulfilling your end of the bargain by connecting Monterey to the US. Yeah. Brilliant. And they suspended the dividend. And we've got an economic recession ahead. That's not good, because that's going to affect my stock price and net worth and profits, everything like that. It's just... It's just nasty. As long as it doesn't turn into economic depression, then we should be alright. Uh, there was actually... Actually, does it have to be coffee... It has to be coffee hauled from Mexico. I don't think it's just coffee anywhere. Um, engineers to spend, develop suspension railway bridges. Uh, that's not going to be of any use to me. Because um, I wasn't planning on building any suspension bridges. Yeah. Russians. Demand for coffee. Yeah, I still think pulling it to Victoria is the way to go. That's like the most profitable. Let's just buy another thousand shares. Yes, yeah, so my share price is not doing so good. Possibly because of the recession. Not making as much money this year. Although it's still early days in the year. I do want to buy out these AI, but, uh, you know, only if it's actually feasible to do so, because they're very expensive. I mean, one way would be to buy some shares in their companies. But it's risky because their share price could go down. Still apparently called no coffee. But yeah, that's because these trains haven't actually made it yet. That train's hauling nothing from Nacogdoches to Shreveport, which I'm a bit surprised by, but... Uh, let's do Shreveport to Dallas as well. That's actually hauling some oil as well, which is really good. Because that's the thing as well, it's like, we could haul oil from like A to B, and then B to C, and then it actually counts twice. Despite the fact it's basically the same oil, it's just being delivered twice. In fact, we must be... Yeah, we're, we're basically almost at 50 loads of oil, so that's nice. Uh, these guys have actually managed to connect... Well, they've actually doubled up a bit of their track, which is kind of useful, because that sort of benefits me as well. Uh, but they've actually managed to connect up to Sherman, with the world's worst station, yet again. One day they will learn. But yeah, buying out the, um, the Aveline company would be a lot more worthwhile than buying out the... Uh, Dallas Fort Worth Company, although buying up both would be very, very nice. But I don't think it's really doable right now to buy out either one, never mind both. Um, in terms of expansion, yeah, probably actually want to connect up to Matamaros. Although, if memory serves, there's some event that may, basically means that I don't want to. Um, build too heavily in Mexico just yet, because I think it's like an unavoidable event that is uh, 
very bad. It means that, like, all your track and trains get destroyed in Mexico, which is not good. So let's not build too much in Mexico. Just yet. But yeah, let's connect up with Tulsa. Don't really know what's going to be in Tulsa. Uh, quite a lot of passengers and quite a lot of furniture that we can ship over to Oklahoma City. And some passengers as well. All very nice. So let's do that. Tulsa to Oklahoma City. With some dining car. And let's save the game. So yeah, I'd say overall this is going rather well. Uh, we've only used about a third, well, about a quarter of the time. We've basically almost satisfied the oil goal. We pulled three loads of coffee. Um, make that four loads of coffee because the train just arrived. And there should be more coffee on the go, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not yet. We only really have to worry about company cash and um, net worth at the moment. I think everything else will just sort of fall into place naturally. Obviously we still want to keep expanding as much as we can. Any, any cities that are really worth connecting to? No, I think I've connected up most of the big cities. Lubbock is out in the middle of nowhere and could be worth connecting to. It would be interesting to f see if I could connect up to like Albuquerque and Santa Fe, but they're kind of hard to access. Unless I connect Amarillo with Fort Summer and then built up and over sort of like this. That could be interesting. So let's maybe... I oh, also Fort Sumner, not Fort Summer, I just realised. Let's see if we can't connect Amarillo to Fort Sumner. Hopefully without silly little gradients, without the stupid gradient. And also I'm going to need a bridge if we want to cross this river. So I can build a bridge like over here, which is actually quite nice. Yes! Bit of a nasty gradient coming out of that bridge, but... Uh... Okay, I definitely don't have enough money to get to Albuquerque at the moment, but... That track is just like there, preliminary. I am going to pay you know, track maintenance on that, but uh, it's nothing major. So, what is in Amarillo that we can ship over to Fort Sumner? A bit of meat. Where do these troops want to go, by the way? I've noticed there's like troops here and there. This train probably won't make loads of money. Oh no, actually, it's making money from Amarillo. I like the fact how even though in an economic recession, we still made like three million last year. Um, yeah, the company is doing very well. Especially when you consider that we don't really have much in the way of industry besides a couple of hotels. And... Do you... Did I buy a farm? I bought an oil well. Yeah, I don't own any farms, so... Um, but it could be a worthwhile investment to start buying some industries. Of course, I want to change the dividend back up. Yeah, let's buy another thousand shares in our own company. So we actually have a approximately 20% share in our company. Um, 352,000 shares outstanding, 72% or 72,000 shares of which we own. How are we doing on the coffee front? Still only hold four loads of coffee. Um, 
I, yeah, I was going to connect up to Matamoros, but, um... Right, so, let's get a train from Monterey to Corpus Christi again. Let's actually make it a... No, let's not make it a Pensy. Let's just do Thatcher Perkins. Monterey to Corpus Christi. The coffee is $26. Right, yes, yeah, so that's making... That's hauling the coffee there. Just wondering if it's worthwhile repurposing some... Repurposing bonds and uh, getting lower interest. Probably not, actually, because my credit rating is only double B and we are in economic recession, so I probably wouldn't be able to get very good bonds anyway. Right, let's see about connecting up to Albuquerque. Uh, I don't know if we can do that, but we can give it a go. Might not have enough money. And also, the gradient's going to be pretty horrible. I'm trying to avoid nasty gradients. Building track in the way that I am. Right. How do I want to build this station? Because that's going to be awkward as well. I can't quite connect up the whole city with one station because of the way that the city is designed. Something in the way there. If I destroy that house, or is it just because it's not flat enough? Height variation too great for surrounding buildings. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Actually, if I built that, that covers most of the city. Although, it might be a bit of a gradient. Hey, there we go. And then, Albuquerque to Santa Fe shouldn't be too difficult. Right, Albuquerque, there's a hell of a lot of iron. It's interesting that there's loads of iron on this map. There's actually even more coal. But the coal is mostly in Mexico, and it's very scattered, whereas the iron is appearing all over in steel mills, but we're not actually getting any steel because there's no coal and iron in one place. Um, which also really means that we're not getting any goods because tool and die need iron, sorry, need steel to make goods. Yeah, damn. How much is a meat plant? Just a base meat 2.4 million. Yeah. Okay, we've got the camel back, uh, which is very cheap. Uh, it's not good for passengers. Well, actually, 90% isn't bad. It's got very good fuel economy, uh, but poor acceleration. It's basically a cheap and cheerful locomotive that you would use for freight, mostly. Um, over long distances because of its good fuel economy and not the best top speed, and also it's not really very good on hills. I don't think I ever really use the Camelback, it's kind of not redundant, but I don't... There's always something better. Anyway, it's looking like um, Albuquerque to Fort Sumner is the way to go. Although Amarillo to Fort... Amarillo to Albuquerque would make good money. Ah oh dear, train crash. First one of the game. McKellen to San Antonio, and I don't have enough money to replace it. I don't have any money right now. Um, but now I can. So, I managed to replace it before the train actually deleted itself and disappeared permanently. Not that it's any cheaper to replace it like that, it just means that it stays as train 15 rather than being like train 33. Right. Anyway, um, let's get Thatcher Perkins Albuquerque to Fort Sumner. 
with Barney Car, and then let's do Amarillo to Albuquerque with no dining car. And that is quite a long way, and I didn't build maintenance and service. So yeah, I think next next um, stop would be Santa Fe, and then that'll be like end of the line, or well, certainly end of this line. Um, I don't know what else I want to connect to. Maybe Lubbock, because it would be quite easy to get to. This is nice and flat. And just as well, remember when I said I hope this doesn't turn into an economic depression. Uh, we get an economic depression. Hopefully, we still make decent profit. My net worth has gone down quite a lot because my share price has gone down. But the thing is, is once um, the economy picks back up, then the share price should go back up, my net worth goes back up. It's not like the depression is going to last, you know, 20 something years in game, right? <laughs> Surely that's not going to happen. No, the economy sort of cycles and changes, like, you know, we'll, we'll go back to recession and then we'll go back up to boom before the game ends, he says. And if we don't, then, oh dear. Right, Santa Fe actually didn't have much in it. Um, there is a demand for lumber, but there's no readily available lumber. There's only really a couple of passengers that we can basically ship over to Albuquerque or Amarillo. There's not really much else. Is there anything in Albuquerque that we could ship over to Santa Fe? Tiny bit of meat, a couple of passengers and stuff. What about um, Amarillo itself? Nobody wants to go to Albuquerque. A bit of lumber. Alright, let's just do... Um, Santa Fe to Albuquerque. And then let's do... Amarillo to Santa Fe. And what about Fort Sumner? Could ship some meat and lumber over. So let's do that as well. Port Sumner to Santa Fe. Right. So, probably wasn't actually worthwhile connecting to Santa Fe. Albuquerque is reasonably worthwhile to connect to. The Santa Fe, probably not really. Oh well. It's done now, so... Let's save the game. I like how even in an economic depression, the company's still making, like, huge profit. This is good to see. We've actually hauled enough oil. Uh, 50 loads really isn't much, which is why it's the bronze gold, I suppose. We've only hauled seven loads of coffee, um, but again, you know, it's still early days. Is there coffee anywhere else? Sort of in Matamoros, but not really. Yeah, you see, this is the problem: is that it's not that profitable to haul the coffee. Houston, Beaumont. Yeah, let's get a big train going from Monterey to Houston. I know that's a long way, but it might actually fall some coffee. And if it doesn't, we'll just copy it. Clothing, yeah, lots of coffee. Good. Supreme Court versus Railroads. The Antitrust Acts will apply to railroads, states the US Supreme Court. Rail prices are forced down, revenues dropped an estimated 15%. That's not good. Let's 
500,000 shares in our company. Uh, so we have still 352,000 shares outstanding. We've got 74,000, so it's like sort of 55% share in our company. Is it worth connecting up with Uvalde? And I did want to connect up with Lubbock, but let's try to connect to Uvalde. In theory, track is cheaper because we're in an economic depression. But I don't know like how much cheaper it actually is than billing in Boom. Day we can ship meat over to Austin and passengers and some mail. And I feel like I can probably build some more. Yeah, I, I didn't build like hotels and post offices over Let's avoid building it in. Um, Monterey. For the reasons that I've stated. Because if everything in New Mexico is going to get destroyed anyway, then we don't want to build too much. Right, so Uvalde to Austin. In fact, actually, what's the traffic like in Austin now? It's probably really bad. Oh, no, it's surprisingly not. It's surprisingly uh, really good. What about Houston? No, the traffic on my lines is actually really good. What about Dallas? No, even that's fine. Okay. <laughs> 75,000 shares. guys are not doing very well, they're only um, $40 a share. In fact, actually, how much is it to buy one of these? It's still really expensive. If I saved up my money for a couple of years, I could maybe buy one of them out. Although I would have to pay a premium simply because I don't own any of their stock. So it could be maybe worthwhile buying some shares in one of these companies. Some point. I don't know. Oh, train crash. Oh, that's annoying. Because it was nearly at its destination. Oh, well. Um, right, we've hauled 11 loads of coffee, 81 loads of oil, save the game, and yeah, I definitely want to buy one of these guys out when I get the chance. Let's... Do I want to connect anywhere? I think Lubbock could be alright. So let's, let's connect up with Lubbock. I could connect Odessa with La Mesa with Lubbock. And then have something like this. Brilliant! Right. La Mesa. Medium station. Lubbock. Probably wants to be a large station actually, because of the way it's built annoyingly. Uh, speaking of which, do I want to upgrade any of my stations that are not actually large stations? Let's make that a large station. 
think everywhere else is a large station. In Victoria, actually. Make that a large station. Um, McKellen. That's okay as a medium station. I think everywhere else is a large station. Port Sumner. That's okay as a medium station for now. Rivalde. Yeah, these are all recent. Rivalde, Lanessa, and Lubbock. Right. Lubbock. What passengers we want to ship over to Albuquerque, actually, interestingly enough. So let's do Lubbock to Albuquerque. And then, Lubbock to nowhere else really, hmm. nowhere else really is worth doing, I mean. Um, or getting a train going. La Mesa, we could get passengers going to Amarillo. Then, Odessa, we can get, uh, hmm, we could ship clothes over to Fort Sumner, a bit of oil to Fort Sumner, passengers to Fort Sumner, right, so let's do Odessa to Fort Sumner. Brilliant. Oh, that's not brilliant. Right, so yeah, we're no longer in a depression. The depression only actually lasted um, about 18 months, which is okay. These trains have run out of water. Monterey to Houston. Uh, a bit surprised to buy because there's plenty of maintenance and service. Let's get a maintenance and service going over there. Austin to Ovalde, I never built maintenance and service, that's why. Okay, save the game. Right. Uh, other than the coffee, yeah, we just need to basically worry about um, net worth and. Company cash. Company cash not really a big issue. Net worth will be the main issue. But the fact that we're now in a recession, not a uh, depression, will help immensely. Because that means that the economy is improving and we're probably going to go into like prosperity at some point. Maybe even a boom. Um, Huntsville, what's in Huntsville? Probably not much. Lubbock to Albuquerque. I'm surprised that's run out of water when you've got maintenance and service there and there, but uh, nevertheless, let's build a water tower over there and over here. Santa Fe to Amarillo. Again, I've built more water towers, so that should be fine. I suppose the thing is, is the Thatcher Perkins does have poor fuel economy, so it does use a lot of fuel. Right, how are we looking on the buying them out front? It's probably going to be too expensive to really do. Although, if I sit back and wait for the cash to pile in, maybe. is that the coffee is there, but it's just not that profitable at all. Now the coffee wants to go over to Austin. 
or Wichita Falls, Austin being closer. Right, let's get Monterey to Austin then. That's a hell long way. Let's actually get a Pensy. Why not? Because I don't want passengers on this train. Yeah, that's better. So the Pensy... Um, I'll show it to you in a second when I can. Because I think this is a really cool locomotive. Um, you know, even though it's apparently really ugly for... Um, passengers. New engine invented. Rudolf Diesel invents a revolutionary type of engine. The demand for fuel is expected to rise 20%. Uh, that's obviously diesel. Um, which should, in theory, drive up profit for profit and demand for um, oil. Yeah, this is the locomotive. It's the Penn CH3280. Sounds like a consolidation. I think, personally, this is a really cool locomotive. I really like the way this is modelled. Um, and, you know, ignore all the massive amount of black billowing smoke from it. I don't know, I think that could be used for passengers. I think that looks cool. Although it does look very uh, polluting with that massive black cloud of smoke. But anyway, that is hauling one, two, three, four loads of coffee, which is very nice. Uh, right. There's actually 56 loads of coffee on the map. Yeah, it's co there's some coffee. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't know when this event is that destroys all the um, truck and trains in Mexico. But once that happens, then, after that happens rather, then I can rebuild everything in Mexico, which will unfortunately mean reconnecting to Monterey, but then also maybe try and connect up. I could even try and connect up with like some of these obscure cities, or well, not obscure, but like hard to access cities, although the gradients might be quite nasty and it might not be that accessible to get to some of these. What's in El Paso out of interest? I wonder if it's worth connecting Albuquerque up with El Paso. Maybe just save my money up for now. The economy is back on track. That's really, really good. Toilet paper shortage. Sock up now. Is this 2020 when everyone was mass buying toilet paper for fear that it would run out? Remember, Tycoon 3 predicted the future. Everyone mass buying toilet paper. Um, anyway, yeah, these guys are probably going to be way too expensive to buy out. Oh well. There's actually not many shares in their company, there's only 68,000. Um, that's the Dallas and Fort Worth. I'm wondering if it's worth connecting Dallas, which is already connected up with Sherman. The problem is, is that's AI track. I'm wondering if it would then be worth connecting via this way, up with like Oklahoma City, but yeah, it's probably not going to be much quicker than just going via this way. Huntsville, I will connect to though. It's, it's just a small little city and it could be worthwhile to connect to. I don't know what's there. But we've connected to it. Huntsville. There are some passengers, some logs that we can ship over to Houston. A bit of pulp wood. Yeah, let's just do a very simple Huntsville to Houston train.
Probably don't really need the dining car, but we've got it anyway. Um. industries are making big money but they're also extremely expensive. Okay, um Yeah my my network is gonna go up a lot because the company's making really good profit now that the economy has fixed itself. And I do want more dividends. I don't think I actually really have to expand anywhere else. I could probably just sit back and let the company cash pile in and then use that company cash to buy back stock and build up my net worth that way. So my only real concern at the moment would be um, getting this coffee in, but that's happening, it's just happening very slowly. I probably don't need to buy out the air. It's just something that could be worthwhile doing if I ever get the chance, which is not looking likely. Yeah, my share price is just going up and up and up. And this is economic normal. We're not even in a boom. We're not even in a boom at the moment. I'm getting eleven dollars a share, which means I'm getting like Wow, I'm actually being I'm actually getting like um almost one million in uh dividend cash. Yeah, um Annoyingly, the car loads have now switched to 40 ton loads. So, the Thatcher Perkins can only do 29 miles an hour. Um, in fact, actually, none of my locomotives are going to be particularly fast anymore. The Pensy can do 37 miles an hour, but obviously it's not good for passengers. I guess if we're not bothered about passengers, it could be worthwhile upgrading some of these locomotives to Pensies. Because the Pensy is good for pulling power. But, um, yeah, it's, it's annoying, but obviously there's nothing you can do. Right, now it happened. I knew it would happen, I just didn't know when it would happen. So, Mexicans destroy rail lines. Anti Americans. Anti American? Have taken out their anger on Texas and Pacific Railroads. Rail. Rail. Who wrote this? They didn't check the typos and grammar. Anti-American have taken out their anger on Texas and Pacific Railroad's rails line in Mexico, destroying whatever they could find. That should be rail lines. Whatever. Um, I can't change the dividend. Yeah, so basically we might have lost some trains there, or alternatively we've probably maybe got some trains where it's like they like, say they're going from Monterey to Houston. They were on the way to Houston. They're going to get to Houston, and then they don't have a destination. Because their destination in Monterey is no longer possible. But anyway, I think this is a one-time event. So basically, once I build up back to Monterey, I don't have to worry about them destroying my track and trains again. Monterey Station, part two, and yeah, uh, let's get a train going from Monterey to Victoria. Let's get a Pensy. Makes it more likely to haul coffee. I should just copy that as well. Let's put a dining car on anyway.
Oh, and also we're gonna need 19 from service. Uh, right. Yeah, so my network is exploding. If I get economic boom, then the network will just explode even further. So, obviously, I still need 15 million in net worth, but once I actually do that, then we need 30 loads of coffee, and we're also going to need 15 million in company cash, but I do actually kind of want to connect... I said I wasn't going to, but I kind of want to connect every city on the map now, just to see if it's actually doable. I'm also actually going to connect Matt and Maros to our because I can do that now, now that I don't have to worry about my track and train just getting... Uh, deleted again. There's actually no coffee in Matamoros. There's a hell of a lot of uh, clothing that we could ship over to Laredo. Also, some passengers that want to go to McAllen and Corpus Christi. So let's let's do them first. Via Thatcher Perkins. Corpus Christi. Yep. No, it's actually not falling. And then let's do Matamoros to Laredo. Let's actually make that a Pensy instead, seeing as it's not falling passengers. Keep buying shares in the company. Stock price is probably actually stock's probably gonna split two for one actually. Let's save the game. They've reduced the dividend, I'm not that bothered. Oil found in Beaumont. The spindle top geezer was discovered. A huge reserve of oil that dwarfs anything found so far in the US. I mean, I've already hauled 130 loads of oil, so I'm really not that bothered. But, um, it just means more money for me, I suppose. So, where's this massive amount of oil in Beaumont? Well, it's basically just some, some oil wells. But, um, yeah. I think buying both of these guys out is going to be too expensive. Let's continue. Actually, connecting every city on the map might not be doable purely because of all these Mexican cities. Um, I can certainly connect every city on the United States, minus the ones that the AI have connected to, because that would require buying them out. Let's connect up to McAllister, because that could be worthwhile. Get a train going to and or from McAllister. Uh, yeah, let's just spend the dividend on my call. Growing Prosperity, that's nice. And let's do McAllister to Oklahoma City, just very quickly. With a Thatcher Perkins. Yes, very nice. Okay. Let's save the game, and pause the game actually, and I will say thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed part one of Texas T. It's looking really promising. We should get gold. Uh, whether or not I'm going to be able to connect to Seraphie City on the map is probably not going to happen because of the AI being too greedy and stealing the cities. But uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed watching this video, leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in part two of Texas T at some point soon. Take care folks, have a nice day, and bye bye.